The problem that I've got is that when you look at the word Trinity, right. it's another name for Godhead. Do you agree with that? It's a false, uh, it's a false title, yeah. not a name even. Yeah. It's a false concept. There's no such thing as... Uh, yeah. there's, of course there's the Holy Spirit. Yeah. The Holy Spirit is the power that emanates out from the being of God. Yeah. So who can deny that? What yeah. Christian would deny that? Yeah. And there's a son, Jesus Christ, yeah. born of a virgin. So okay. there's two. Then there's the Heavenly Father, okay. from whom all things exist. Okay. So there's three. All right. but, then to, but, but then to say that uh, God consists of these three persons, right. that's a lie. That's so, of the devil. So let me show you something. Romans chapter 1. Romans chapter 1. It's recording, isn't it? Okay, Romans chapter 1. Look what it says. Okay. Look what it says. Yeah. For the invisible things of him okay. from the creation of the world right. are clearly seen, being understood by the things that are made, okay. even his eternal power and right. Godhead. Godhead. Okay. okay. So, so you're putting a definition hold on, hold on, to the Godhead. Hold on, hold on. So that they are without excuse. All right. Okay. You know how so, I look at that? Go ahead. You, so, you give so, your... so Godhead is referencing the divine nature of God. We're to, when we're talking about the triune God, we're talking about divine persons. We're not talking about human persons. We're talking about divine persons. Do you know what the definition of a divine person is? No. No, I'm on, I want him to answer. Do you have? Do you know the definition of a divine person? You're looking at a divine person. Okay, so you're you're a divine person. Yes, I've I've been made partakers of the divine nature, Peter. Allah okay. wahed. Look, look at this. Allah wahed. Okay, so you're. Gotcha. Okay, so you're saying, you're, you. you're, you're saying to me you're you're saying no 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 you're saying no no you're saying to me you're uncreated. Allah wahed. Forgot I exactly. I look at this. <laughs> okay, look at this. Grace and peace be multiplied unto you through this. the knowledge of God and of Jesus hey. our Lord, according as His divine power hath given us unto us all things okay. that pertain unto life and godliness, through the knowledge of Him that hath called us to glory and virtue, okay. uh, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, okay. that by these ye might be partakers of the divine nature. Partakers of divine nature. Okay. Does that mean you're divine? I'm a partaker of the divine nature. Brother, Rephrase your I, question I, again. I, I think I think you're struggling with the concept of divinity. A divine no. person. See, let, let me like tell, you let can, me show you where you're when, wrong. When you partake of the Lord's Supper, it doesn't mean you're Jesus. That what does what do you mean by that? I, we're I would in, agree with we're you, in fellowship. What's your point? We're in fellowship and we're in union. We can be filled with the Holy Spirit and walk in the Spirit. We can have gifts bestowed onto us through the power of the Holy Spirit. But it doesn't mean we are the Holy Spirit. I would certainly agree with that. So unfortunately, you are looking at the Trinity through a human finite lens that's the problem no i would accuse you of that that's no, what no, you no. are doing so so explain to everybody watching explain to the world when you say trinity are you talking about divine persons or human persons well first of all when you say persons you're probably including the holy spirit in that too you're making the holy spirit a person which that's another one of the devil's lies. Okay. The Holy Spirit is not a person as distinct from God Almighty. The Holy Spirit is a power that emanates out from the being of God. Okay. That's why in Genesis 1, 1 even, okay. beginning in Genesis, so, we see, in Genesis, we see the foundation. In the beginning, God okay. created the heavens and the earth. And it says, and the earth was without, with, was without form and void and darkness filled the place of the deep. And listen to this. And the Spirit of God moved upon the face of the waters, and God said, let there be so-and-so. Okay. All right, so there we see a power. God is the creator. How is he a creator? By his power. So there we see a power emanating out from the being of God. This, 
No. I'll, so, be honest, so I'll, be honest, I'll be honest with you. You're, right there, right, right there. So you see your air. You don't believe the scriptures. No. Somehow you, Where's, what you scripture, cannot uh, rationalize what, what with your script, mind correctly. What scriptures are you quoting? And another thing is that the, the what, power, what scriptures the are you power quoting? Power and the Holy Spirit. The, the word power and Holy Spirit. Christian? I'm a Bible believing Christian who believes the <clears throat> word of God. He's not. Okay. So, with, res with respect, with respect to you, I, I don't want to be. So, I don't want to so be. So there you see. I don't want to be rude. I don't, I, I don't want to be rude. Furthermore, I don't want to be rude. In the other parts of but the scripture, you, you we see the power. The God true, created all things by His You're own saying. Power. You're saying. In another place, it's the Holy Spirit. So the Holy Spirit and the power of God, power. Synonymous. You're saying He's the true Jesus the is spirit. one in spirit, That's a lie. not see? one in being so with witness? the Father. No. Is yeah, one in spirit. Sure. So he doesn't want to continue. Jehovah. You don't want to continue the conversation. What's the difference between one in spirit and being? What's the difference? There you go. There you go. Well, so He doesn't want to engage. He doesn't want to engage. He can't answer the question. Every week he's putting up here, God is not a trinity. Okay. I asked you a basic question. All right, I'll answer about that. The quote that you I'll here. answer that gladly. And you are I'll answer that. struggling. One, one, okay. You are, I'm not here to win an argument. You say panicking. you won the argument, more power to you. If that you're makes panicking. you happy, you're panicking. I'm happy with because I know the Lord Jesus Christ. Not I, I, know the, I know the Lord Jesus All right, Christ. But I'll answer but you're you. Saying, I'll answer okay, you. No problem. No problem. Let me Jesus was answer. one. Answer, answer, answer. Jesus was one in purpose. This guy. One in, in uh, just like uh, okay. one to become one flesh. Because of that one flesh relationship, another being comes into being. Because of that one flesh relationship. Okay, but that's. Are you, wait, are you okay, told, but just like my wife and I, we can be one in flesh, Bad but example. never one in being. So Jesus was one in purpose, one in purpose with God the Father. That's why he submitted his will in the Garden of Gethsemane. In fact, there you see the two distinct uh, persons. There's a distinct person of Jesus, the Son, and there's a pers uh, distinct person of God, the Father. <coughs> okay. And because they are two distinct beings, they have two distinct wills. Go ahead. And so Jesus said, nevertheless, not my will, but yours, we, your will be done. Okay. So there you see... Jesus was okay. not one in being okay. with God. He okay. was not God. Okay. There's clearly you see that. So I'm answering your question. What is the difference between one in being and one in person? That's ludicrous what? to say that uh, I can be one in being with you. You are. You have a distinct will. That, uh, but what's... you have a distinct will. You. I have my will, and you have your will. Okay. And the same way with God the Father and Jesus the Son. Here you, that's okay, what so makes where, it, that's what makes a person where, when you they have two distinct the, wills and, and you are so blind you cannot see that Greek, wake up brother what is the Greek, wake up what is the Greek for spirit and being what is what what's the what's the difference between spirit and being according to the New Testament a spirit is a power a spirit is not a being a spirit okay. is not a being. A spirit speaks of a power that emanates out from the being of God. Okay. So Paul, the, Paul, Paul for the example. Paul was in Corinth. If you go to 1 Corinthians chapter 5. Okay, so is God a being or a spirit? Huh? Is God a being or a spirit? He's both. Okay. But you cannot. Okay. So there has to be a person. So are they, are they the same thing? Not exactly. Okay, so then Not show exactly. us the verse that makes the distinction between spirit and being. Okay, let me See, let look. me explain something to you. Okay. Will you listen? I, Will one, you listen? No, it's okay. Being recorded. No, that's fine. We have a what play. I don't look, want. What I don't want. I don't want philosophy. The scripture. You don't want to listen. No philosophy. I don't want philosophy. No, it's not philosophy. Okay. You're the one who has philosophy. In First Corinthians chapter five. There, uh, there was a problem among the Christ Corinthian believers. Okay. And uh, so there was a brother there that had a illegitimate relationship with his father's wife. Yeah. His, probably his mother-in-law. So the Apostle Paul brings out something very, very significant, and you do well to understand this, what, what was going on there. The Apostle Paul says, <coughs> I, while being absent in body, but present in spirit, Okay. have already discerned what's going on there in Corinth. Okay, so Paul there makes a, uh, makes a difference between his own spirit yeah. 
and his own his own being. All right. Okay. In matter of fact, it takes his spirit, soul, and body to make up a person. So spirit is a component of the human being, same way for God. God is made up of also spirit, soul, and body. Okay. That's what makes up the being of God. Man being made in the image of God, it's clear. Okay. So Paul, we, we could ask the question, Paul, what is going on there? Are you really serious in what you're saying? He said, me, while being absent from body, in body, from Corinth, already have discerned in spirit what is going on there in Corinth. So was Paul hallucinating? No. Paul there had a little bit of an omnipresent experience. God is infinitely, hello, hello, just a minute. I'll, I'll talk to you later. So Paul had an omni, omni um, uh, had a little bit of uh, omnipresent experience. Paul was so, so powerful okay. Okay. in his spirit that he was absent from body, I'm quoting Paul, but because he was so powerful in his spirit, he could discern what was going on over there in Corinth. Yeah. Yeah. God is infinitely greater than us as humans. He's infinitely greater than okay. the Apostle Paul. Can, can God is somewhere in a bodily okay. form, in a celestial body form, okay. but his spirit, there's a power that emanates out from the being of God, which discerns all over the face of the earth and all, all over the universe, matter of fact, Nothing can be hidden from the almighty okay. presence of God. So there we see what the, the role of the Holy Spirit. It's a power that emanates out from the being of God. Okay. So, okay. I want to... I want to... Did you okay. follow? Does that make any sense okay. to you? Okay. So, so we would... I tell you, I tell you... Foolish, we would be Jesus foolish to, okay. to say that Paul, you to talk. that Paul's spirit yeah, yeah, yeah. is a person okay. as distinct from the person of Paul okay. or from the being of Paul. But that's what you've done with the being of God. Right. Right. Yeah. Can I talk that's, that's, can that's I talk? foolish. Can that's, I talk? Can I talk? That's, uh, that's a lie. Can that's I... uh, heresy. Okay. Fine. Jesus. Jesus. All right. All right. So listen Just to this. Just a minute. Go by their heart. So guys, he clearly is not ready. Are you ready? Are you ready? She's going by her heart. Are you ready? You're going by your mind. Okay. She takes both. He's not ready. He's, I don't know. You're going by your mind. She's going by her heart. She takes both. It looks good to go by your heart, but she you knows what's coming. That's right. Why is it God is not a freely? Huh? God is not a freely. Because the Bible doesn't teach that. That's ludicrous. Jesus. See, they say that. Do you know, you don't even know what the doctrine of the Trinity teaches? Otherwise, you wouldn't. I don't think you'd say that. You need to study what these people are actually saying. They're saying there's there. Jesus is God. Jesus is God. Jesus really wasn't born at Bethlehem. Jesus is God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. That's dangerous. That's very dangerous teaching. Did you hear what I said? Very, very, very well-known, respected theologians. He's trying, to, he's, trying, he's trying to scare you. Your leaders are now telling us he's that trying Jesus to scare Christ you. really wasn't born at Bethlehem. I know, he's there not. Just he's, on a he knows what's coming. Tell the viewer, what were you trying to like, communicate to the guy? Yeah, so... Why is it difficult to maybe... Engage with him. So, so, so clearly... Cradle to the grave. He wanted to say what he wanted to say. And now look at him. He's not interested in the conversation because he knows what is coming. I'm trying to convey to him that Jesus is, is God. Okay? The Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, manifested in the flesh, as we see in 1 Timothy 3.16, was seen by the angels and was preached uh, to the world, raised to glory. But he knows what's coming. He knows that the weight of Bible verses is going to crush him. The weight of Bible verses is going to crush him. So are you ready? Are you ready? I was ready. I was born again ready. Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. All right. So I want to show you. But you first have to understand first. No, no, listen. Did you, wait, did I, I you hear you. me? I heard you. Did you hear me? I heard you. Well, you have to I disagree. That. I disagree. You have to come over that hurdle. I, dis I, I just. Yeah, I disagree with your distinction about the Godhead. I believe that when the Bible refers to the Spirit of God, that the Spirit of God is talking about the divine nature, the divine essence of God. 
the terminology of being, it's not found in the scripture. Well, but the word spirit, if we just, even if we just go by the principle of English, just by the principle of English, we can see in in just by the principle of English, we can see in John four verse twenty four that God is a spirit. Listen, God okay. is a spirit. Hold on, hold on. Hey, allow what, me to what talk. What characterizes I, God is spirit. Friend, my friend, I allowed you to talk. Let me just. Let me just um, Excuse me, I'll be back. Okay. 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 So, so guys, like the guy, he knows what's coming. This is the thing, brother. They so see, he knows what's coming. They know. They know what's coming. But they're clearly playing games. Okay. okay. Guys, do you want to finish the conversation or, or we finish? Do you want to finish the conversation? Because I'll be right. He's clearly running away. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Twelve. I'm gonna give him one one more minute. Yeah. Okay. Are you ready? Okay. You can edit that. Okay. So. Okay. So what we see, I want to show you. Um, that when the Bible says that Jesus is God, it's not something that we made up. Does the Bible I'll say show Jesus you. I'm going to show you. I'm going to show you. It's so categorically clear. I can actually show you. So, let's go to BibleHub.com. Let's go to John chapter 8, verse 24. And I'm going to show you both the King James Version and also the Aramaic. You believe Jesus spoke Aramaic as well as... Oh, yeah. Okay, good, good, good. So, what we see is this. So, look at the King James. It says, I said therefore unto you, that ye shall die in your sins. That what? Oh, die in your sins, yeah. yeah. For if ye believe not that I am he, we shall die in your sins. Don't put words now, in, in the, no, hold on. Jesus mouth. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Wait, wait, wait. That's Messiah. Hold on. I allowed you to talk. I didn't interrupt. I am He is referring to these are the same three words that we see in the book of Isaiah, chapter, I believe, 48, verse 12, where God says, I am He. Even when your hair grows gray, or turns gray, I am he. He's talking about the unchanging, omnipotent, omnipresent God. Now, I want to show you something else. In, that, that's what you were saying. I'm gonna, we're going to go to Isaiah. That's what, also, that's Isaiah 46 verse 4 says the same thing. But let's go to, because what Jesus is, what Jesus is doing here, is what I want to make clear, is these three amazing words i am he tells us these are the, from the words of jesus that jesus is the unchanging god now we know this because if we go to the aramaic this is unbelievable guys this is i would say for all those saying and showing the pride and saying that Jesus is not God. Today is the day where it gets debunked because I can tell you for sure Jesus is God. Now look at the Aramaic. Look what it says, brother. It says in the Aramaic Bible in plain English, go to biblehub.com, John chapter 8, verse 24. It says, I said to you, that you shall die in your sins for unless you shall believe that I am the living God you shall die in your sins I, uh, that I am the living God there you go this can you see it? Right there. I said to you. All I see is that's in large. Uh, okay. That, that's in large have, letters. Do you want to uh, read it? Do you want to read it? 
Huh? Because this is not the only place where Jesus says he is God, the living God. No, I, I don't believe that. I think, okay, that was, so now, I think that was added. Okay, so, I think that was in there, just same as the... Uh, no, wait, okay, I, okay. I don't think that you Jesus believe, that. You I'm believe, God. No. okay, because he says it in other no. places as well. No. Okay, he says it in Mark, he says it in Luke no, as well. I don't, I don't believe Jesus okay. said that. I think that was, uh, that was added. This, guys, no, I, is the heresy of Unitarianism. No, I You're think that, saying, that was added. So you, what, what version Bible since, is that? My friend, Tell me. Since, since when did you have a problem with John 8, verse 24? 8, 24. Is that what you just quoted there? I said it a few times, yeah. I don't think that that... Uh, let's see what my Bible says. John 8, 24. I, I've, showed you a trans, I've showed you the King's James where it says, I am He. And now I've showed you the Aramaic Bible in plain English. Very clear. The same I am He is what you find in Isaiah. They, they dared to put that in there because they were already biased. Yes, I don't believe that Jesus said, I am God the Father. Okay, read what no. translation is this? That would, have been, that would have been blasphemy for Jesus to say that. He said it though. These are his words. No. You can't deny the you, gospel you of picked, John you and picked, call yourself you a Christian. You pick the version. You, you, you pick the translation deny. that, listen, I'm, I'm done speaking with you. I know. You're I know. convinced. I know. And only the Holy Spirit listen, can convince you. You don't believe in the Holy Spirit. All right. Okay. Do you I, believe the Holy Spirit is God? I, I, uh, Do you believe unless the you change your mind, I'm okay. wasting my time with you. Do you believe so, the Holy Spirit is God? Huh? Do you believe the Holy Spirit is God? No, the Holy Spirit is not God. Did the Holy Spirit there again? Did the Holy Spirit it's another lie? Did the Holy Spirit create us? No, the Holy Spirit, did God the Father, created us by His own power. Okay. Can I show you one verse? Because I know you want to go. I'll show you another verse. And I know that. This has been a little bit... You finally found a version that lines up with your lie. What lie? That Jesus, that I, Jesus okay. himself is God. Do you prefer... The Bible you're Jesus, holding... that would have been blasphemy. No, no way did the, Jesus ever claim the, to be... The Bible you're holding, are you comfortable with? Jesus himself said, of my myself, I can do okay, nothing. I understand. Which self was my that? Friend. The, uh, the, did Jesus, the Bible, you have we'll to split that. Jesus we'll in two we'll in that. order to justify your the corrupt Bi doctrine. The Bible you're holding, are you, com are you comfortable with? The Bible. Yes, I'm comfortable with okay. this Bible. So go to Job chapter 33 verse 4. Go where? Job, the book of Job chapter 33 verse 4. Because you're saying the Holy Spirit did not create us. Job what? Uh, Job chapter 33 verse 4. The Spirit of God hath made me, and the breath of the Almighty hath given me life. That doesn't prove anything. You just said, the Spirit through of God, your own, in, the sorry, Spirit of God. One second. Listen to me. Just, you just said you the Holy made a Spirit. Person out of the Holy Spirit. You said the Holy Spirit didn't make you. No, God created me. But what does that say? Because you have made a distinct person no, no, out of the no, Holy no, no. Spirit. Let the Bible do the talking. What What does that say about? How we are created and who created us. Does it say the Spirit of God created us, yes or no? We are created by His, by the power of God. But when you make a distinct person out of the Holy Spirit, but what who is the Father of Jesus? And it's, and it's, is the Holy Spirit the Father of Jesus or is God the Father the Father of okay. Jesus? So the Father, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit are manifestations of the one yeah. Spirit of God. Yeah. Listen, now, listen. What you can see I, here, I, I know, I know you're done. Going to you would have say you've won the it's, argument. It, no, more power. That makes you my happy, friend, my friend. I, I, I'm done talking with, with you. I'm wasting my time. Maybe with respect. The, I think it's time to retire. Okay. It really well, I, is. I, I because I, I, I'm let's, wasting let's, my time. Let's be honest. Obsessed. You said, <laughs> "Oh, your mind where does is Jesus claim to thoughts. be God?" I have showed you a verse in John 8, verse 24. The Aramaic in plain English says that. If you don't believe, because it's a salvation issue, that I am He, I am the living God, ye shall die in your sins. He's caught in Isaiah. I show you a verse that shows that the Holy Spirit created us. And God, you said, God created no. us. You said, no, the Holy Spirit did not create us. God, it's on tape. God is the Father is of recorded. Jesus, not the Holy Spirit. My friend. Because the Holy Spirit is a power. With respect. So if you want to say that we it are created time. by this power. With respect. Very you well. As a, you as a Unitarian. But from your point of view, it I don't is agree time 
to retire. Okay, good. With respect. It's time, it's time to retire. Thank you, thank you. Anyway, now, now, brothers, brothers. So, so what we, what we have is a Unitarian. Yes, 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 yes. No worries, no worries. Yeah, in fact, let's get, let's get this, let's get this. This is perfect. So what we have, unfortunately, is a Unitarian masquerading as an angel of light. Why, he why, why? is masquerading okay. as an angel of light. Why God hates. And unfortunately, it is an absolute disgrace. disgrace and God. It is this Unitarian heretic. false heresy is an absolute disgrace to the body of Christ. And you're laughing, but with respect to you, you should be ashamed of yourself. Because I asked you some basic questions. Okay, and what happened? And he was panicking. I'm panicking? Oh. Yeah, my friend, I'm just trembling. My friend, you... Panicking and trembling. You were struggling. <laughs> All right. You were sweating. I was sweating. And he was having difficulty. Okay, okay. A tough, tough time. Right, well, it makes sense. Because, because Unitarianism yeah. denies the divinity of Christ. Right. You mean to say to me yeah. that Yahweh manifested in the flesh for right. us to be a ransom sacrifice to destroy the works of the devil in accordance with Genesis 3.15? You want to leapfrog over all the messianic prophecy, ah. over all the Old Testament evidence, and he wants to waste the words of Jesus. Your heretic. heresy is an absolute disgrace. Heretic. Unitarianism heretic. is an absolute disgrace. And anyone purporting this view should be ashamed of this of themselves. And I say this yeah. with actually with actually respect. Not to be bad, not to be uh, mad or anything like yeah. that. But I asked him some fundamental questions, yeah. and I, oh, I felt like he twisted the answer. I twisted. So, brothers and sisters, yeah. go to, jo uh, to John chapter 8, okay. verse 24. It says, okay, in the Aramaic, that if you do not believe, this is the words of Jesus, if you do not believe that I am the living God, that I am He, you shall die in your, your sins. sins. It is a salvation issue. That's right. It is a salvation issue. So the answer is, and you have to take it serious. It's not taking it serious. And it's in the Bible. So guys, to the people that are saying that Jesus did not claim to be God, you are misinformed. You do not have the information at your fingertips. And so, what we can clearly see is poor education around the divine nature of God. In his head, unfortunately, he's thinking of the divine nature being defined with a human lens. So when we are attributing persons to the Godhead, when we are attributing persons to the divine nature of God, we are talking about a human, a human concept. No, we are not. We are talking about divine persons. Go and look at what the definition of a divine person is. So brothers and sisters, just to conclude, Jesus is exactly who he said he was. He is God Almighty. The same God that we see in Revelation 22, verse 1. The water of life, which represents the Holy Spirit. The throne of God and of the Lamb. And off he goes. Look, he's, uh, he's, he's packing up now. He's running away. That's what happens when the power of God comes. The presence of God comes. The enemy, they pack their stuff and off they go. <laughs> No, but that's what's supposed to happen. That is what's supposed to happen. Hallelujah. So, I thank God for this opportunity. Jesus claimed to be God, and John 8 verse 24 
when you read the Aramaic in plain English translation, makes it super, super clear. So, case closed. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Okay, before you forget, Yo. tell the family how to find you, your ministry, your website. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. So, you can find us at Godhead Trinity, okay, on YouTube. Okay, some of the other platforms, by the grace of God, they're growing, but you can find us on at Godhead Trinity. Um, we're on YouTube. Uh, please like, share, and subscribe. And also, same thing with the so called family. So, thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. More exposures coming. More exposures. Well done. Praise well done. the Lord.